Your last mission didn't exactly work out, Tom. Your killing everybody means a lot of problems for us. They tried to rape Sarah. The cops ought to thank me. I know, but the one you let get away will make trouble. What? We didn't let anybody get away. They're all dead. One lived. They pulled him out of the car wreck. Shit. The one you killed was the son of a city councilor, the mayor's friend, and Morello's accomplice. And the one who lived will go crying to the councilor. Daddy didn't exactly love his son. But in these cases, a person can remember a lot of good things. By the way, there's funerals today. Pity I can't make it. You're lucky that second one didn't know who you were. I couldn't give you up. But that's not why I sent for you. Tom, I have quite a delicate job for you today. Come on, let's get in the car. which the Don has invested a lot of money in has suddenly decided to forget his obligation. And he has taken up with Mr. Morello. It seems that Morello is trying to test our limits. We're not gonna play his game. So what's going down? We're gonna blow the place up. What? What kind of joint is it? A hotel. Yeah. That is, it's a brothel. Huh? But no regular who house. It's a place for classy society types. And I have to knock them all off? Of course not. We'll just liquidate the owner and blow up his office. That should be enough of a warning for the others. We means me, right, Frank? I take out the owner, and I blow up the hotel. Exactly. And there's one more thing. One of their girls is passing information about our activities to Morello. We'll need her eliminated, too. Frank. <laughs> I have to kill a woman? Worst luck, huh? Here's a photo of her. She's cute. And she looks familiar. Are you certain this is her? Unfortunately, yes. Her big mouth has lost us a pile of money and some of our people. Why don't Polly or Sam do it? We know the place in and out. They'd be dead before they can get it together. Mm. So what's the plan? It's downtown, the Corleone Hotel. Find the boss and shoot him. You can do it in public. It'll be a warning. Then take care of the girl. The owner's office is on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there, and then set up the explosives. You won't have time for much else. This won't be no picnic. I know. But if we don't take care of this now, we are next in line. Maybe you're right. The weapon and explosives are here in the car. Tom, good luck. Welcome back, mobsters, to some more Mafia. The time has finally come to go blow something up. This playthrough has definitely been lacking some explosions, but I'm about to go fix that right now. Yeah, try to stop me, buddy. I want to see you try. Maybe if you had a car. You know what I really like about this game is that by the time you're done playing it, it feels like you just watched a really good mobster movie. And I love mobster movies, they're perfect. In fact, this is even better because you're so intimately involved in all the events since you're basically playing the movie. Great, I'm right next to the police, so I have to watch my speed. I'm going to turn on my speed limiter here. Just until this guy is out of my sight.
It's time to go inside and pay a couple of people a visit. Alright, so I have to kill the manager, kill a prostitute, and blow up a bunch of stuff. It sounds like a good time to me. Afternoon. Where would I find the manager, please? He's in the hotel restaurant having lunch, sir. It's just through those doors. He's the man in the white suit. Much obliged. Uh, by the way, I'm looking for the girl in this photo. She works here. Do you know where I can find her? And who are you? A Seamus or Vice? No, I've never seen her before. If you want to enjoy yourself, choose from one of the girls down here. Well, I'm no Seamus. I just need to talk with her. Like I said, never seen her, so be kind enough to get out and don't make no problems. Watch the mouth, old timer. I ain't used to it. Me neither. And my two-headed sawed-off from just under the counter was saying that your behavior is not acceptable. So I advise a slow, cool exit. Hmm. I'll remember you. Could you imagine checking into a hotel and being greeted by this hospitality? This guy is so rude and his establishment is definitely only getting a one-star review. Can't believe that guy. So there's the manager in his fancy white suit. This guy looks like a mobster, so I might have some problems with him once I start shooting at this guy. This is the way everybody ends up when they sell out to Morello. Wow, he got absolutely destroyed. He got just vanquished. Let me reload my clip before all these other mobsters come on through. Again, if you roll to the side, you instantly reload your clip. There's that very rude hotel clerk. He's dead now. Alright. Pick up some ammo, because I am running out. Where's his gun? Where'd that guy drop his gun? There it is. Alright, there we go. Refill. Let me pick up his shotgun. That'll be nice. This guy right here, he looks like an innocent victim, but he actually has a concealed carry permit. So if you run off, he'll chase after you and try to shoot you, so can't let that happen. I'm gonna blow him away to another dimension. Alright, so I'm ready to go look for this prostitute with the manager now dead. But I'm gonna need a room key, first of all. And I did take a couple of bullets, so let me heal up. Ideally, you want to use that health pack towards the end of the mission. That way you can get the most out of it. But I don't plan on coming back here just for cinematic purposes. Can't tell if that guy's a mobster or not. He's wearing a trench coat, so... No, he's not a mobster. There's definitely some up here, though. Oh, no, he is a mobster. He's shooting at me. Okay. Alright, let me try to get them to come down here. That way I can shoot them close range. That's how you do it with a shotgun. Alright, I think there's one more of them. No, that was all. Okay, let me refill some ammo. And let's see if we can find this prostitute. I'm assuming she'll be here on this floor somewhere. Not there. Not here. I'm just gonna check all these doors. Is that her? No, I don't think so. Don't think so. Sorry, Michelle, but I heard that a bunch of people got knocked off because of your talk and someone lost a lot of dough. You're dangerous to us. It, it isn't true. It couldn't be true. Tom, wait! I, I didn't know I'd hurt anyone. 
I, I wanted to help my brother, and... I knew it. This could only happen to me, a total screw-up. I can't just kill a young girl. A young naive fool who wanted to help him. her own brother? Probably a real bastard. On the other hand, is worth getting killed over it? Get dressed and get out. Thank you. This place is gonna blow in a little while. I don't want to see you in this town again. Nobody can see you here anymore. Thank you so very much. In this town, you're dead. Go away and never show your face here again. Get it? I promise. You will never hear about me again. So I'm not an expert, but I feel like I've watched enough gangster movies to know that when the Don tells you to kill somebody, you just never let them go. Just, just don't. It'll catch up with you eventually. God, I forgot about that guy right there. Man, I took some damage because of that mistake. Oh, gotta run for my life. <laughs> Just regular work. Tommy, my boy, why would you do that? Can't you set the explosives with a few extra seconds so your exit is not as dramatic and life-threatening? Some of these mobsters need to go back to mob school, man, and learn a few things. And it looks like Tommy here didn't make a very good escape plan either. The cops are swarming the place and I have nowhere to run except up. So I guess that's where I'm gonna go. And let me get my Colt 1911 out in case I need it. Which I probably will. All right, let me climb up here, and then up here, and then we're going to do a risky jump, right? There's a cop right there. He has some sort of rifle, so I'm going to have to be careful. I don't want to get shot with a rifle. And of course I did. That's alright. Looks like he's dead. And I think the cops are going to burst through that door at any second now. So I'm going to chill out up here. Or maybe not. Let's go down there. Yep, here they come. Oh god. Let me switch to my shotgun. There we go. Shotgun's good because this is close range. Really? That guy didn't die? Hero cop over here. God, there's so many of them. One, like, right there. All right. And my health is not doing well at all. I got, what, like, 42? That is not good. Oh, my God. I did not see that guy. Where? Where? Oh, he's up there. All right, hold on. Let me get my Colt. He's got me against the sun. He's got me at a disadvantage. Pop your head out. I can't even see my cursor. Come on, buddy. Alright, come on. Really, buddy. I think that I got him. I think that I got him. So let me take a few more weapons here for ammo. He's still alive. And I can't aim to save my life. 
All right, let me let me come up here. Maybe I can get him from here. Because it's not working from this angle. This guy's literally invincible. Oh, there's like 30 of them. All right, hold on. Let me get some cover. First of all. And then this stupid guy. Alright, man. Really? If that doesn't work, I'm gonna be pissed. Got a Springfield. Good times. So let me actually go through here. That firefight was way more complicated than it had to be. Okay, man, I've made it to this part, but I barely have any health left. Would you look at that, 33. That's alright, I got a rifle. Got a freaking Springfield, and there's a health pack right here. Heal me up all the way to 100, nice. I thought that one didn't heal me up all the way, but glad it does. And was taken from us unexpectedly. The Lord awaits his flock with opened arms. And those such as Billy are awaited in the heavenly realm. Billy was a good son, brother, and friend. We will all remember him in that light. And pray for his salvation. Since he did so much good. And now Billy's friend, who was with him during the last moments of his short life on this earth, would like to say a few words. Come, my son. Thank you, Father. You know, I, I wanted to pay my respects to Bill today and to tell him that I considered him as my own brother, that his death was a great loss for me. Huh? Uh, what? Are, I was that present is, at his death and- How? That's the one! That's the bastard who killed Billy! Get him! Go! Oh, you in hell. Don't right. move! Get down, Father. God, what are the odds of that, man? Oh! God, reload! Why is every clip empty? Are you kidding me? Super annoying. Four headshots to kill that guy. Unbelievable. Okay, this rifle officially sucks. It should not take two headshots with a rifle to kill someone. This guy with like a Thompson up there. That guy's just praying. He's not a mobster. Is that guy dead yet? I think so. Let's see who else we have here. God, just some crazy fool. Alright, let me see what else I have. I have a sawed-off shotgun. Oh my god, there's like a huge group of people coming in here. Have to be careful. Reload! Great, great, that did nothing. There's one guy with a shotgun right there, can't let him get close to me. Reload! God, okay. We're gonna be okay. As long as I keep those guys with shotguns at a distance, 
Should be fine. Right? Just want to be careful here. No, sir. All right, is he dead? Yes, he is. Oh, it is only I. My son, don't shoot. I am unarmed. What have you done, my son? Such suffering for nothing. God is forgiving, but this is terrible. Don't you know murder is the greatest sin? I know, Father. But somehow everything got fouled up. I made a mistake somewhere. So many people have died without reason. They could have done much more with their lives. Father, these people were criminals. Cheats. Murderers. The one lying in the front wanted to rape my girl. Maybe God wanted it this way. A lot of people will have an easier life because of this. Yes, the Lord works in mysterious ways. But what about you? You can look yourself in the face? Your hands are stained with blood that you'll never wash off. I know that, Father. Look around you. Such a waste. We'll have to consecrate the church again. Everything is shot up. I can't let my parishioners in here. What am I going to do? Maybe this will help? Pray for my soul, Father. I'll need it. I will, my son. I certainly will. By the way, Father, your little speech about Billy, I'm wondering about your conscience. Billy wasn't such a good person, and he didn't do good when he was alive. Don't you just love this game? You cannot write a Mafia script this good. You just can't do it. And the police are all over me. Can't really blame them. I literally just blew up a hotel and shot up a church. It does not get much worse than that. It does not get much worse than that. That guy just got wrecked though. Take notes, hearse versus police car, the hearse will win every time. So I need to get my wanted level down. This is the equivalent of six stars on Grand Theft Auto, just for reference. So I might be slow getting to Salieri's bar because I'm not going for speed here. I'm going for avoidance of police car via the radar. I'm just going to try to avoid them at all costs. So I might drive around in circles a little bit. The bridge is dangerous because if there's a cop car coming your way, there's literally nowhere for you to go. And you're just going to have to suck it up and take it like a man, I guess. My wanted level is going down, so that's good. Going to keep avoiding cops. And I've almost lost him, so good job to me. Good job. Excellent. And there we go. Now it's just a matter of actually getting to Salieri's bar. But knowing me, I'll probably get pulled over for speeding before I get there. That's okay. Just stop in the middle of the street, dude. Yeah, get run over. You deserved it. I tried to avoid you, but you just stopped in the middle of the street. No sympathy. Let's go inside and finish up the mission here. Man, I made it back with half health. 
And I got a new card, the Falconer Blue, the Lesseter V16 Charon Black, aka the Hearse. So thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to join the Mafia by hitting the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Enjoy the cutscene. You must be joking, right? How could you get through this? Now it was really bad. Billy's pop, the councilman, wasn't very happy with us. And he was in bed with Morello's. Without the Mafia's help, he wouldn't have got his seat. He also started to mobilize the police. So we now had both the mob and the police against us. Aw, oh, come on. Hey, both sides benefited from it. The police could look good in the fight against crime, and at the same time get fat payoffs from Morello, who they left alone. And with the help of the police, Morello could eliminate his greatest competitor. An ideal situation. And things were going bad for us. Salieri lost a bundle, and I wasn't doing too good after all that killing. It started to seem that there was no point to anything, that I should enjoy everything as much as possible and quickly, while I still had the chance, when it's so easy to lose your life. Maybe that's why Paulie and me started drinking. You weren't falling apart, maybe. Look out! My life was just a trail of murders, crimes, and alcohol. Ah. If Frank hadn't helped me out, I would have ended up worse. My God. It was weird. But suddenly he came to me and wanted to help. Ah. Could you give me a ride home, Tommy? Sure, Frank, get in. So how's life, Tommy? Yeah, going okay. Just... just... Ah, nothing. I heard you and Paulie are living it up. You two are getting pretty well known around town. Just something to do with the money. If you don't want to end up a wreck, Tommy, find some meaning in your life. What? You want to preach to me about a sense of life? I've seen a few good guys who couldn't deal with their problems, and they end up real bad. Usually somebody knocks you off for your money, or maybe you go nuts and all your buddies and pretty dames disappear. Anyway, the Don doesn't want drunks with trembling hands working for him. Those kind of people just bring problems. If you don't watch out, the next thing you know, your best friend kills you without blinking an eye. What should I do, then? Come on, be yourself. Maybe invest the dough in some kind of investment. I could give you a few tips. Give up the party. Go to the races with the Don on Sundays. Try taking a dame to the theater, or at least the movies. There's a lot of things you can do. And who should I take, Frank? A decent girl doesn't want to kill her. You know, a policeman will murder to uphold the law. You enforce our laws. It's the same thing, we're just on the other side of the fence. You're not a murderer, Tom. But still, your wife mustn't interfere with your business. Remember, never take the job home, it just brings trouble. And where would I find a woman for me, Frank? I thought that you had something with Luigi's daughter, Sarah. I think she's a wonderful girl. But you alone know best how far it'll go with me. I'm not going to endanger somebody like Sarah for you. 